I wanted to create a bed leveling knob for Ender 2 that tells you which way to turn. It should help beginners level their bed. But I made it with very thin letters, so when I sliced it with Cura 4.13.1, it looked terrible. The letters barely came out. But when I sliced it in version 5.0, they came out great. In fact, I used my new version 5 profile to print this. I'll explain it all on today's Film at Friday. Film at Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Here's the adjuster mounted to an Ender 2 Pro. You can see how it makes it much easier to see which way to turn the adjuster. Here's the adjuster that I designed in Tinkercad. I used the shape generators, which has a curved letter tool. So I use that to create the up and down with the arrows. For the threads, I made an M4 nut spacing. So I can pause the print, drop an M4 nut in there, and then finish the print. When I tried to slice it though and cure a 4.13.1, I just used my good profile, my 0.2 profile. It said 52 minutes, but it didn't show the letters. So I went back to the settings in my profile and I checked print thin walls. I don't do that by default. And it added like three minutes to the print. And it did print the letters, but they're really rough. I don't expect these to print very well. Now I've been working on profiles for Cura 5.0. The first one I'm willing to release is the good level or 0.2 layer height. I don't have thin walls enabled, but I don't need it. 32 minutes to print. It's already faster than 4.13.1. And even without thin walls enabled, these look great. They're nice and crisp. Hopefully it prints this good. I did try print thin walls and actually I didn't see any difference in the results. So I'm gonna just stick with no thin walls. But here they are next to each other actually printed. Version five on the left, version 4.13 on the right. What a difference. And when I did two color, they printed even better and they're easier to read. I'm really liking this new Cura 5.0. Let me show you quickly how I did the two color. I went to post processing, modify G code, and I did three different pause at layer height. Because at layer 21 is where the letters start, layer 25, the letters stop, and then at layer 35 is where I want to drop the nut in and then finish printing above that. So here's the settings that I used. Layer 21 is the first one. I park the head at zero and 100 for the Y. Then I use 210, keep the standby temperature hot. And then I did redo the layers so I get a good print. And I did that for each one, layer 27 and also layer 35 where I dropped the nut in. So let me show you how it printed. It printed the first 21 layers and then it paused. And that allowed me to pull the red filament out and put in the white filament. Remember the nozzle is already at 210 degrees so I could just push it by hand until white came out. Then I click to resume and then it prints the white. That didn't take long. So then I pulled out the white, added the red, pushed it through the nozzle, which was heated up, and then clicked to resume, and it started printing the next layer. So I paused at layer 35 so I could just drop an M4 nut inside this, lay it flat, and then I can click resume, and it'll finish printing right over the top of the nut. And here's the finished design. I've gotten small letters like this to print in the past with a 0.25 nozzle or reducing the line width or extrusion width, but this is the easiest I've ever done it that I can remember with a 0.4 nozzle. Now to install it, I'll just remove the old one, slip on the new one, tighten it up, and now you can easily see which way to turn. I'm really happy with the way it turned out and using pause at height to not only do two color but also add the metal insert or the nut worked great. I'll put a link to this in the description below. It'll be a .3MF file, so you can just load the whole project and reproduce this if you want. But it'll also load the version 5 profile that I'm working on. It's still a work in progress, but this way you can play with it and see how it works for you. Download it to your computer, and then in Cura, click on File, Open File, find that download, and then open it as a project. And then once that's open, go to the Machine setting and select Create New. And then there's the slicer profile that should load. Just click open and then the STL file will be there. You'll see the machine profile that I'm using and also the slicer profile that you can test out. If you want to change the pause at height settings, just click on the icon next to slice and then go up there and change them or just delete them if you only want to print one color. And if you don't have an Ender 2 Pro, don't worry about it. It's such a small printer that you could slice this, put it on the SD card and put it in just about any printer and it'll work. So try it out and let me know in the comments how well it works for you. 
If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, click on that Patreon logo. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.